Hi, my name's Max, and you're watching Fish Meat for Dinner. Today, we're going to talk about tackle organization. I mainly fish out of a boat, so most of my tackle situation has to be very waterproof and not cause anything to happen to my baits since they are very expensive and I don't want them rusting. So, I'm going to go through all the different ways that I keep my tackle safe, dry, and organized. So I fish walleye and bass, and sometimes I do other species too, but I mainly rig my boat up for walleye and bass. So to start out, I like to use hair jigs. For my hair jigs, I run them in this Plano Edge. Um, this is a 3600 box, much smaller, but still has the water wick technology. And I run them in that because it's small, I can fit it places that I can't fit my big boxes and I know that it's just for hair jigs. Plus I don't own a lot of hair jigs so I don't need a big box that is taking up a lot of space. So a great option if you have a smaller um, type of lure set um, that maybe you don't use a lot. So get the smaller ones. Next up while we're on the walleye topic, I like these Plano uh, sealable lid. They're the three latch lid, waterproof. It's got the seal around the outside. Um, this is a 3700, I believe. Um, I'm able to put all my blade baits in there and all my uh, liplesses, and they stay very dry. Um, so I like that, and they're a little bit easier to fit in compartments with the rounded edges. The latches are very strong, and I haven't had one of these crack yet, so. This is one of the uh, different types of boxes that I like to run. Specifically, I run my blade baits and my liplesses in this type of container. Next up, we have the Plano. Uh, this is also a 3700. It has two latches on the front, but it is all one big uh, compartment within here. There isn't dividers. And what I use this for is I have my scents in here, and I really just have all kinds of different hooks and uh, other um, gear that I don't feel like taking out of the package and they stay nice and safe in here. This one is not sealed, but I don't really have to worry about it since all the products are within their little uh, pouches that you get when you buy them at the store. So really they don't take on any water and they don't rust out, which is very nice. And I'm able to just open this up, look for what I need and take it out and use it and I don't have a bunch of hooks and stuff laying all over the place. So I really like this. This just keeps me nice and organized. Next up, we're gonna go on the bass side of things. I like to run this Plano Edge. This is a uh, 3700 box, and this is made for jigs. So if I open this up here, and you can see there's all these different little slots in here, that's for your jigs to fit in there. This is really nice because with the water wick filter right here, stays nice and dry and they stay in there you can close this up and shake it all around those jigs don't come out of there so really keeps the paint on your jigs uh, looking nice because they're not bouncing around in your tackle box and overall this is very organized so I like that for my jigs next up is how I store my jerk baits I store them in this Plano Edge 3700 and this one has all these little rubber phalanges in there and it's about that deep in there. And what this allows me to do is I can take my jerk baits and I can just place them in those phalanges. I just gotta press it down and they stay nice and organized in there as well as all the water drains to the bottom. Um, and I don't have to worry about my hooks rusting. So very uh, thought out uh, design by Plano and I really like it for my jerk baits. Next up is how I store my crank baits for bass fishing. Um, this is a Plano 3700, but this is a uh, deeper model. And uh, if you open this up and you take these slits out, they actually have like uh, a wicking to them. So air can pass through and uh, that really helps keep the rust off my hooks. And it also keeps my uh, tackle very organized being deep. I can fit multiple crankbaits in each slot and uh, not really have to worry about um, fitting all my crankbaits in there. So that's how I go about storing my crankbaits. Next up is some of my miscellaneous uh, terminal tackle. 
Um, I like to store this in the um, Plano Edge 3700, and this is actually called the Terminal Box. This box is really nice because it has a couple of the open slots, as you're used to seeing on the boxes I showed you earlier. But they have these other boxes within them that have these little plastic uh, opening doors. And you can see I've labeled some of these on the hook sizes that I have in here. And what's nice about these two is you can take them out. So if you want to take this out and say put it in a different tackle box or even just have it out in your boat because you're going to be using a lot of those types of hooks. Also, it just is another added layer of protection against that water. So very good for keeping your hooks from getting uh, not getting rusty. And then they have these uh, nice little flippable containers here, which are rubber uh, coated. Uh, so it can't water can't get in there and this allows you to put all your weights in there So this one I have like my egg sinkers and stuff for Carolina rigs this I have all my weights um, For doing Texas rigs and whatnot my bullet weights and then this one I have all my tungstens in um, And then you can just you have these bigger compartments as well to put hooks and other miscellaneous items such as snap swivels three ways all kinds of goodies so very very smart box here um, your stuff is really going to stay dry in this one this is why this is probably my favorite box out of all of them so i don't have to worry about losing my hard spent money that i paid for my baits because i know they're going to stay safe um, being that there is multiple layers of protection within this box next up we're gonna talk about how I store my frogs. I like the Bass Mafia box. This is pretty deep. Um, and it has four nice latches on it. Uh, and it has the sealed inside uh, ring that goes around the lid. And this is a nice deep box. I can fit multiple frogs. It's all see-through so I can see what colors I may want to choose and uh, there's multiple holes so I can just load this thing up and not have to worry about my frog's hooks getting rusty or not being able to see which frog I want to choose to throw. So as well as the four latches really give you security that you know that seal is going to be working on there. Next up is how I store my spinner baits. This is a my favorite box. Uh, very smart idea from Bass Mafia. And this is the blade coffin. Now, this has some extremely durable latches on it. In this case, I, like you could run it over with, tr with a truck. So this has all these little different pockets in here. And at the uh, top of these pockets is magnetic. So you can just put your spinner baits in there. You can get more of these inserts and put them in there if you would like as well. But really keeps your spinner baits uh, nice and dry as well as organized because I have had many times where spinner baits are paying the butt to store and they always rust. And this for me has been the best way to keep my spinner baits uh, nice and protected, nice and dry, and very, very organized. Finally, we have how I store my plastics. Now, Plano sells these bags here. Um, I believe they're, yeah, they're 3700 and uh, they're very cheap at your local store. Um, I buy mine at the Real Shot. Um, and these can hold a, quite a good amount of baits, but they only have a seal at the top. Um, so that's the only downside about these ones. They do have a little thing where you can label them as on all of their Edge uh, products. But uh, what I really like to run is these Bass Mafia money bags. Um, this is the standard size. They do have a bigger size and a smaller size of this. And uh, this has the waterproof seal, but then it also has a zipper on the top, which I really like because it just makes it a lot quicker. I can take a bait out of here and then just zip it up and chuck it and start fishing. So a lot better design in my opinion then the Plano, I gotta sit here if it's raining and I gotta clip that on and then I'm good to go. So I'd rather just zip it and I can fit more baits in that bag as well. But then we come to our final little secret here is these little bags. 
Plano makes these, and I think a few other brands make this, but it's a really small little uh, bag here with a zipper on the top. So say I have a tournament coming up, and I have a bait that's really, really working. For me, recently, it's been the drop shot. So what I can do with this is I can put, I got my drop shot hooks in there, I got my drop shot weights, and I got my pack of baits that's been working really, really well. So I can put that in there, zip that up, bam, little pack of goodness. I don't gotta be digging around and all this other stuff when I break off or lose a bait. I can just grab this, zip it, grab what I need, boom, right at your fingertips. Very good idea in my opinion on just having some to go stuff. As well, this would be great if you're a shore fisherman. You can just pack some of your little goodies in there, put it in your back pocket, or put it in a backpack or whatever you gotta do. Very simple. They can even clip into a bait binder if you have one of those. And uh, just really convenient. So I like these for when I'm just trying to have one, say, presentation. Bam, nailed it. Don't need to go looking in my boat. I can just put this right here on my dashboard. Go fish, break off, bam, it's right there. I don't gotta dig in my compartment, so. That is all, I hope that that'll help you keep yourself organized. Uh, this was aimed towards more of a boat uh, storage. So let me know if you would like to see more of like a shore fisherman uh, setup. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next Fish Meat for Dinner episode. See ya.